This mod adds a variety of geysers to the world, including water geysers in plains biomes, lava geysers in badlands biomes, and ice geysers in all snowy biomes. Additionally, it introduces sticky boots, which, when equipped, prevent geysers from launching players into the air and causing fall damage. Each geyser is accompanied by a chest containing random interesting and valuable loot, making exploration and careful searching worthwhile. RideHut is a client-only mod that provides useful information when riding animals in Minecraft. When riding horses, donkeys, or mules, it shows health, speed, and jump height. Additionally, the mod settings page can be opened by pressing H or access through the mod menu, offering convenient customization options for players. This mod is a ported version of the original Tiny Mob Farm mod. The mod introduces various tiers of single block size mob farms that generate mob loot over time. Each tier of mob farm has a different speed, starting from the slowest with the wooden mob farm, followed by the stone mob farm, and so on. To use the mob farms, players need to capture a mob with a lasso and insert it into the farm. The farm will then begin generating loot from the captured mob, with outputs automatically pushed to adjacent chests, it's a great addition for players looking to automate mob loot collection efficiently. This mod introduces a range of armor, weapons, and items inspired by Japanese samurai and shinobi traditions, allowing you to craft samurai armor for durability and shinobi gear for stealth. Wield katanas, kunais, and najinatas in combat, each with unique abilities. Additionally, the mod is compatible with epic knights in better combat. This mod introduces the Irritator, a descendant from the origin. After escaping from a facility, it found refuge in caves below, where radiation from leaking test tubes bleached its skin, giving it a pale appearance. The Irritator is characterized by its own model, a gaping mouth, large size, ability to cause irritation, and quadrupedal stance. This mod aims to give players a zombie apocalypse vibe by adjusting zombies AI to fit the style of apocalyptic games. It introduces types of zombies like runners, which run faster without stopping and spawn in groups, grounders, which charge targets to stun and weaken them, and walkers, which randomly sprint towards targets. Additionally, specific event-based zombies include burning zombies, which gain more speed and become erratic when burning, swampy zombies, which have a chance to inflict slowness when wet, and marauder zombies, which can sprint longer and stronger when armed with swords or axes. The mod also enhances iron golems, giving them area damage, the ability to shove away groups of enemies, resistance to weakness, and heavy armor against physical damage. Snow golems now do area damage, slow enemies, throw ice bombs that freeze enemies in a huge area, recover themselves if attacked by their allies, and have snowballs that deal damage only to selected enemies. Additionally, the mod allows for full configuration of the zombies AI, and it seamlessly integrates with all AI mob mods. This mod adds capybaras as your companionship. Capybaras are new mobs that can be found in swamps, mangrove swamps, and river biomes. They usually spawn in groups of 3 to 4 but are more commonly found in larger numbers at Capybaras Paradise, a special location within mangrove swamps. Capybaras will follow you if you hold a melon slice, and you can also breed them using this mechanic. They are semi-aquatic animals, so they spawn more frequently near water bodies. Mandarin bush only spawn on the plains biome, eating its fruit will give you two hunger points and the sweetened status effect for five seconds. While under this effect, consuming any food in Minecraft will provide 50% more hunger points. For golden apples and enchanted golden apples, players will also receive two additional absorption hearts along with the increased hunger points. Additionally, you can place a mandarin on a capybara's head by right-clicking them while holding a mandarin. To remove it, simply right-click the capybara while sneaking, and the mandarin will drop right off. Thermal springs are new blocks found in capybara's paradise, these springs emit steam particles from the water blocks above them in a 5-block radius. Interestingly, if there's water below the thermal spring, it behaves like a geyser, shooting steam particles upward. Also, this mod is a practical tool for players looking to transport villagers. Quick Villagers offers a convenient way to manage villagers in Minecraft, you can pick up villagers as a spawn egg by sneak right-clicking them. The villager retains all its original traits, biome, and profession. 
Simple Armor HUD is a client-side mod that enhances gameplay by providing a convenient way to monitor your armor's durability directly on the HUD. It adds armor indicators above the food bar on the in-game HUD, and displays the durability of each armor piece, making it easy to track and manage your gear's condition. The mod simplifies the process of checking your armor's condition, saving you time and ensuring you're always prepared for battle. This mod enhances gameplay by allowing players to craft armor trims, a previously uncraftable item. With the integration of JEI, players can easily view the crafting recipes for these trims, adding a new layer of customization and aesthetic appeal to their armor sets. Warp Portals is a mod that lets you create portals using your Ender Pearl and Crying Obsidian blocks. To make a portal, simply right-click above a Crying Obsidian block with the portal wand. Stepping into the portal will teleport you to the location where the wand was forged. You can expand the portal by adding more Crying Obsidian or Obsidian blocks around it, allowing for various shapes like pads, rectangles, and more. Mob variants add stronger variants for hostile mobs, when mob spawns, there is a chance that it will be converted into cave variant. Spider has a chance to convert to armored spider, has more health point, armor and knockback resistance, also takes 40% less damage from bow. Skeleton can transform into undead warrior, which wields a stone sword, applies weakness with its arrows, has more health, higher knockback resistance, and moves faster. Zombie can transform into Forgotten, which has more health and armor, moves faster, and applies mining fatigue to enemies. Creeper can transform into Cave Creeper, which explodes quickly when set on fire. When mob spawns on a specific biome, it has a chance to convert into biome variant. Spider can transform into Tropical Spider in jungles, dealing less damage but poisoning enemies. Zombie can transform into Explorer in jungles, and explorers can climb walls and take less fall damage. Zombie can transform into Frozen Zombie in snowy biomes, which has more armor and applies slowness to enemies. Zombie can transform into Bloated Corpse in swamps, which has less health and leaves poisonous gas upon death, causing nausea and poison on hard difficulty. If on fire, it creates a fire explosion instead. Slime can transform into Toxic Slime in mangrove swamps, they poisons enemies, and even the smallest ones can still attack. Also, mobs in Nether has a chance to convert into Stronger Variant. Ghast can transform into Nightmare, which has more health, stronger fireballs, and can shoot five small fireballs at once. Wither Skeleton can transform into Executioner, which walks slower but has more health, higher knockback resistance, and spawns with an axe and iron helmet. Piglin can transform into Infected Piglin, which is immune to fire. Skeleton can transform into Soul Stealer, which deals additional magic damage, uses melee attacks, and walks faster when on Soul Sand. Magma Cube can transform into Lava Slime, which sets enemies on fire and leaves a pool of lava after death. Zombified Piglin can transform into Zombified Piglin Brute, which walks faster, has more health, deals more damage, and wields a golden axe, and it gets angry when a player gets too close. Tectonic is a world generation mod that revolutionizes terrain shaping. Mountains now generate as huge ranges that can stretch for thousands of blocks, sometimes exceeding Y300. In towering mountainous terrain, rivers continue underground, linking up with regular rivers seamlessly, and deeper underground, there are even variants with lava instead of water. Waves and wind carve into steep cliff faces in the stony shore biome, creating dramatic cliff formations. Terrain is much smoother than normal, and smooth desert dunes will generate in some desert biomes, giving deserts a special look to them. Additionally, oceans are much deeper than in vanilla Minecraft, extending into the deep slate layer in deep oceans. The mod transforms the Minecraft world, creating more diverse and visually stunning landscapes for players to explore and build in. Esoteric Distillation is a fabric mod that expands the brewing possibilities in Minecraft by adding 16 new brewing recipes for potions and effects that are not typically obtainable in vanilla survival Minecraft. These new potions include a potion of decay, potion of luck, potion of absorption, potion of haste, and more. One of the key features of this mod is that it ensures all potions have splash, lingering, and tipped arrow variants, allowing players to apply these effects to themselves or others in a variety of ways. Whether you're looking to enhance your survival experience or add new strategic options to your gameplay, Esoteric Distillation has something unique to offer. Better Weather is a mod that enhances the atmospheric effects in Minecraft by adding a variety of weather events. 
Easily identified by its green tint, acid rain can harm mobs, players, and animals, making it a threat to be avoided. Additionally, it has the destructive effect of destroying vegetation and turning grass course, adding a new level of challenge to survival in the game. Easily identifiable by their fast-moving snow, dense fog, and howling wind, blizzards create a harsh environment for players and entities. During these storms, snow accumulates rapidly and can vary in height, adding a new layer of realism to the game world. After the blizzard ends, the snow will slowly decay in areas that are not naturally icy, providing a temporary but impactful change to the landscape. Cloudy weather events add a realistic touch to the game's atmosphere. As the sky darkens and the opacity of the sun, moon, and stars decreases, players are immersed in a cloudy effect that mimics real-world weather patterns. And light rain is a gentler version of regular rain, providing a more subdued and peaceful atmosphere. This mod introduces the Ocean Trader, a new villager to the game. You can find him in his lighthouse house, which can spawn in beach biomes or by placing a sponge as his workstation. The Ocean Trader offers custom trades and comes with a completely new armor set with some effects. Additionally, the mod includes a turtle sword and axe, along with two new food items that offer special effects. This minimal armor HUD for fabric provides a sleek display of equipped armor on the HUD, complete with damage indicators. Players can customize the offset of the armor display from the edges and adjust the gap between items using cloth config through the mod menu, ensuring a personalized and minimalistic interface. Keep the Resource Pack is a convenient client-side utility mod that ensures the server's resource pack is always loaded. This means that players don't have to endure the constant loading and unloading of resource packs every time they join or leave the server, which can be especially beneficial for those with less powerful PCs. Create Aquatic Ambitions is a create mod add-in that introduces a new bulk processing feature called Conduit Channeling, or Channeling for short. It allows players to harness the power of an active conduit and its surrounding waters for fun and unique recipes. These include Prismarine Automation, which turns underwhelming byproducts into unique building blocks, effortless copper aging, using the sea's tide to age copper faster, and Coral Revitalizing, which revives coral, coral blocks, and fans using the conduit's power. Formations Nether is a mod that introduces a variety of new structures to the Nether, enhancing the Dimensions exploration experience.